Today I want to show you how uh, the Scrum Master job looks like or how to set up a, an Agile team. And by doing that, I think the Scrum Master is pretty much like a, like a mirror for the whole Scrum team. And he's the coach and he helps the team to reflect and actually um, think about um, things like people issues or um, processes and the tool that they choose um, together. So he's like the big mirror for the team and for the company. And if you think about the team maturity and the team ability to solve problems, this is actually a very interesting thing. Like in the beginning, of course, you have the team building phase where you build the team, set it together. You are, um, have the storming, norming and performing phase of Tuckman and you set the people together. But I think there's a correlation to other thing I call this the level of self-management. Um, we probably maybe know that from things like um, management uh, 3.0, where you have something, it's called um, delegation poker, where you sit together and play cards between the management and the an agile team, and you solve like how you want to deal, um, how you want to self-manage or manage um, um, different issues um, together. So in the beginning, in an early team, or not an agile at all team, you have a command and control structure where the management tells the team what to do and how to do it, actually. And then when you go further, you, you the management explains maybe it's it serves a bit more, at least I hope, and then it tells the idea of what they want to do, right? And the better thing then you aim for an agile team is so like the management is asking the team what is so the, the management um, consults the team or what um, then really comes to action agile in agile is that you all agree you sit in one boat and you have consent about something you agree on that it's like the basic principle of of an agile environment of an agile culture and then later you turn the boat around and say okay now the management is just giving advice because he is a very experienced guy or the management just um, requires the decisions that the team made and you can fully delegate that um, whole management thing to the to the to an agile team when it's well experienced so um, uh, classic topics like hr topics like salary and things you can really give that to to uh, agile teams when they're very mature from that point, I think there's a correlation between the maturity, the skills, the capabilities of a team and the self-management approach. And in this inner circle here, you have just a team, the beginning. It's a good thing, but it's just a start. And then later, you have the self-organized team, which aims for more self-management and for more freedom in their decisions. And they have more, they, they're a performing team, so they're already delivering things. And then if you look ahead further, you probably don't have um, either, um, like a strong management anymore. The team itself, this Agile team, has become something like a leadership team. So they are leader, this Agile team is a leader on its own. And because they're delivering something, um, they, they have even more capacity to help others, to influence others, to, help, um, to better the whole company, to, to run Agile communities of practice, or even not company-wide, you can even think about that they go to conferences and um, help the worldwide um, Agile or technology community to improve and to get better. I think this is actually something that companies like Google or so are aiming for. So, um, as I said, like community of practice, if you are having a very mature team, things like that just appear naturally. Okay, so in this way, Think about it as is there a maturity, is there a correlation between the team maturity and the self management level? And if you aim for that and stay on that road, and um, you have the chance, if you stay on the right level of team maturity and self management, to come to a point where you have a self organized, high performing team. And of course, while doing that, you can um, get off the road, and the Scrum Master role is to make that transparent and to show that. Like if you are forced back by management, for example, and the team is very mature, and they have no freedom anymore to self-manage themselves, I think it can lead to frustrations. So be aware, if you aim for 
an agile team and if you want to become one like a world class agile team um, that you have this management approach as well in your set or the other way where you have um, a team which is not that experienced and you give them this level of self organization self management actually um, then it's really just lost so be sure that you stay on that road right Well, that's pretty much what I want to say. Ah, one thing. Um, so in the beginning, I think the role is pretty much like a trainer for the team. Later, the role of Scrum Master is more like a consultant. And if you think about agile leadership, the role is pretty much like a, like a personal coach. It's like a management coach. Because as I said, like the agile team is like a um, management on its own. And maybe some management say, you know, okay, well, I lose my control. I have no direct control anymore. Well, that's true. So, but it's actually what you should aim for, because if you have no one, one bottleneck in this decision making, you have a team who's able to do it on its own. It's more flexible and can react better to the world. And um, I think that it's something you should aim for. And actually, there is no big risk in it, because... Um, as they stay on the road they and do their job like they still delivering something and they still create value so there is no risk it's just um, you have more time as a manager to do something else so that's pretty much what i want to tell you it's like uh, as last time i now give everyone a, like a frame and a nice nice shades and that's all i hope you enjoyed it and Think about the idea of an agile team and on the journey um, of becoming a world class or a high performing team. And I hope you enjoyed it and spread the word and um, share it with your friends and colleagues and see you next time. Bye.